we're gonna go high crotch. We'll drill high crotch and then we'll probably be to lunch. All right, again, there's a lot more depth to all these positions. I'm just giving you a little peek at them so we kind of know what we're working with. So high crotch, again, he's got hips in back straight, head up. I've got to bust this position up a little bit. Now I can stuff and cover, right, and start working to a normal sprawl position, right? If I can't beat that, I got to work taking the angle away at least, right? So this is where we're going. Kind of like we did with our double leg, I'm going to sidestep and swing, but I'm dropping to my knees. What it'll do is take this drive leg away, right? So I'm going to step, I'm going to swing, and I'm going to drop to my knees. I'm pulling the armpit here to this position. Now, if I can get here and block and wiggle, that's great. If my knee, if I get here and my knee's 90 degrees and he's kind of pulling it in, I'm going to ankle roll, okay? My ankle roll is driving the skin to the butt, outside hand going to the laces, inside hand going to the belly button, and I'm going to bring my knees to my chest. I want to turn my body as I roll in a 90 degree angle, okay? I don't want to roll just side to side. Freestyle. This is good for two, okay? But he'll be right back in the same position. Folk style, I get nothing. So when I roll my ankle roll in folk style, I turn my hips under and my knees come up under his chest. I have to crunch his butt to his heels and I have to drive off my feet. So as I drive here, as I roll, outside turn. Outside hand goes to the laces, inside hand goes to the belly button, not wrapped all the way across. I need a shallow belly wizard here. Then as I roll, my knees come under. So if I see this, I want to end up perpendicular. It's like I'm trying to knee myself in the face as I roll. All right? That's going to give me an angle to sprawl on my finish. All right? So I'm crunching, rolling. Big difference in my finish here. I can start looking for that bottom shoulder, cross facing, and finish. So we're going to start on this high crotch, we're going to get the angle first, then we'll work on our finish. It's going to be a side step, swing, drop to my knees. Here. Hips, bend, chest, up. Then I'm driving, butt to his heel. Right here. See how my feet are in the back. I'm ready to drive. We're going to stop right there. And again. i got to swing. I'm not sprawling straight back. I'm beat here. If I just try to sprawl straight back right now, he's just going to cut the corner. Right. I'm gonna fall on my face. This is my motion. Step here, popping my hips in. Okay, he's gonna stay on the leg. Step three, he's staying on the leg, but I took some of his power away. He doesn't have that drive leg anymore. If I'm straight, I just keep sprawling here. If I'm bent, I'm gonna go ankle roll, crunch, slide him up. Knees come under as I roll here. Big sprawl at the end. Keep his foot trapped to his butt. Then I start looking, pulling elbows, cross facing, finishing my takedown here. All right. Halfway fast. Shoot that high drop. Boom, here. This position. Rest, rest, rest. That's important. If I let go of this, knees are coming under. He's going to start wrestling again. Okay? Keep that foot trapped to his butt. Good? Let's get it go!